hear the airplanes in the background? We are actually in Lancaster, California, and it is our lucky day. Right behind me, you're going to see an airplane, and this is an airplane that is going to do the first ever transatlantic flight on biofuel. I'm going to let you see the airplane and actually talk to the pilots. Over 70 hours of flying time. Incredible opportunity. So the, the price of the, the F gas is extremely high, and the fuel you know, industry is not interested in bringing other fuels. They want to first uh, uh, extract all the black oil and fuel out of the ocean or out of the surface. Uh -huh. We feel we are the small entrepreneurs that can make the world change to go to green fuels. We are uh, uh, an expedition of an aircraft that flies for the first time on biofuel mixture with one engine over the transatlantic route over the ocean. This flight is going to be 70 hours of flight, uh, 7,000 miles, and uh, it will take uh, us about uh, 30 flying days. And ha how long is the total duration of this flight expected to be? Well, it's about uh, three weeks. We have some maintenance in between, and we're going to visit some friends in Oshkosh and uh, in Gander. And how much fuel will you consume? About 14,000 liters in total, including the test flights. So about 10,000 liters for the total flight. And let me know your stops along the way. About eight, eight stops, including this one, of course, to start off. Uh, and Al starting off from where? From here, from Lancaster, then go to Winslow, Albuquerque we pass, then we go to... Uh, we're going to Greenfield and then Oshkosh, then we move on to New York, and then we go to uh, Yarmouth in Canada, Gander, that's where we have to stop. Then we move over to the north to uh, Goose Bay, and then further up north, very far north, Iqaluit, and then we make a small, the shortest crossing to Greenland, about three hours over uh, border, and then we hop over uh, with a four-hour flight to Iceland, then uh, to uh, uh, the Faroe Islands to refuel, UK, and then back to our homeland, Holland. Sleep under the aircraft during our flight going home to save money also, and save costs, but also protect you know the. The idea we have inside, we're so, so afraid that somebody may take something away. We need all this equipment to go over the ocean. How long will the flight over the water take? Uh, we fly a total of 70 hours, of which about 20 hours is going to be over the water. It flies only 200 kilometers an hour. It's a slow moving aircraft, used for the uh, Chinese, the Russian and the Polish industry to fly small villages as uh, crop dusters or at passenger transport, designed to operate from small fields, small areas, and it can take off at 200 meters of distance. Wow, so short runway. Short runway. Two wings, a lot of lift. And how much fuel will you have to refuel somewhere? Yeah, we carry on board uh, 1,200 liters in the wings and 400 liters in an extra spare tank of methanol. And we're the first to try out a hybrid aircraft to mix methanol with the F-gas. So this is the area that we're going to change. I'm the owner of this uh, company and the, uh, the guy who taught all this process a few years ago. Uh, I think I flew a little less hours than my co-pilot here. I think about 4,500 hours, also from the Air Force. Uh, this, flew this aircraft three years ago the first time, and a few times in the Netherlands. So I think I got 16 hours in this aircraft. But it's just a gentle old lady. We call her the Tsarina from uh, Katarina, from Russia. And she can't do anything wrong. Just, she's very slow, that's the only thing she is. <laughs> um, what we were going to prove here is going to be a biofuel flight. This changes, we also got a business going, and um, some big companies wanted to buy us already, but we think we have to do this. So I hope that we also challenge other uh, small aviation general aviation owners that this is possible, that we can change to biofuel and conserve the world for our children later on. I'm the co-pilot of this uh, bio flight. My name is Rudy Capelle and I am the chief engineer of the company and uh, maintenance man now on this trip. All right, so we are leaving Ben, Mike, and Rudy as they set off on a lifelong adventure um, that was dreamed up three years ago as they really get out and are going to do the first ever transatlantic flight. I'm just incredibly excited for them. It seems like there's a lot of passion, a lot of innovation in this flight, and we just wish them all the best. All right, you guys, good luck. Hope you have fun. Hope you make it home soon, very safely.